you fit a change. I turned to an addict, I bought me a paddock, I bought her a baby with a hook. Yeah, I bought me a baby that came with the doors, yeah, that's a Mercedes. I stay with the baddest, I'm counting the cabbage while making my lady go fast. I brought a G Wagon, I see with some rabbits, that's why I'm a rest. Yeah, we brought the full door, had to get ready for the door. Yeah, I ain't fuck a bitch so long, I do it in a Honda Ghost. I had to count my money, bro. I just took that bitch and shot the fuck behind me. So I had to cut all my niggas up on I had to cut them off hold I had to take 12 right on the mile. Drive it like my family was told. They say like my pretty brain. Cause I'm only known to the throat. Yeah, I just thought they'd be watching. Yeah, I just thought they'd be watching. All these hoes, though. I am such a sunny guy. Nigga, do not trust me. Baby, I'm a bust. Wait before you bust me. You should never trust me. Girl, you got all bust. If this beef don't want to. No, I do not eat steak. All I eat is this place. I got the food and the fish in my wrist. Still in the hill. I'm out of my wrist. I'm in the middle. You know, I made a million. You know, I made a million. I turned to a addict. I brought me a paddock. I brought her a baby. Yeah, I brought me a baby. I came with the doors. Yeah, that's a Mercedes. I'm still with the baddest. I'm counting the cabbage while making my lady come back. I brought a G wagon. I shit with some rabbits. That's why I be crazy. Yeah, we brought the full door. Had to get ready for the door. Hey girl, hey. Hey sis, welcome back to your girl's channel. Today's video, as y'all can tell by the title, it's gonna be a monthly reset video. So, it's actually about to be April, but by the time y'all see this, it's either going to be April or it's probably the day before April. This can give y'all a little bit of motivation to get into the monthly reset type of vibe, you know? Let me actually see on my calendar what date what day it actually is because I'm just recording knowing that it's about to be you know another month but not knowing the date it is March 28th so with that being said April is right around the corner and I wanted to start off a fresh month I did this with this month and in my opinion it just makes your month go so smooth when you can plan out your entire month get things together get your house in order get your kids in line get your life in check everything just goes so smoothly that's what i did for the month of march and the month of march has been very successful for me with my content creating getting the word of god um being more organized with me and my kids my work life having a balance like y'all it's just been so smooth you know what i'm gonna give it to the girls and let them know what i do and just go with the roll with the punches show y'all what i'm doing so y'all can get to it too because i want my my supporters to have a smooth month as well in april <sighs> sadly we all know april showers bring may flowers and i hate the rain i really do like rainy days are cool every once in a while but am I the only one that cannot take rainy days every day? Like the gloom just makes me sad. Some people like that vibe. I, I'm not one of those people. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I definitely have to plan out my month of April. That way I won't be caught in a drought. Um, because the weather, at least in the Midwest, is just crazy and all over the place. So it's Thursday. It's actually 1.57 p.m. I actually have to get Layla off the bus here in the next a little bit less than an hour I gotta get her off the bus right now what I wanted to do with y'all was basically clear off my calendar I want to also talk to you guys about my goals that I set for this month did I meet my goals and then set a new goals for next month I ain't never peep my calendar in my room this this my little calendar my little calendar and I keep everything on here and um I also try to live by my calendar and this has helped me so much like my calendar has helped me so much as a mom of four y'all wonder how i stay organized how i be on top of it and how i can do things freely it's because i have different types of organizations such as calendars notebooks reminders on my phone i have to make sure i keep up with that otherwise i would not be as balanced as i am because um people ask me all the time like how are you able to make content and the content be raw and you was able to do this and get like a lot of people are asking me i got so many questions how did you do i recently posted a reel like our morning routine and they were like how were you able to get all your kids together record a reel do this and that i think me personally once i have a goal and i know this is what i have to do for this day i know and i prepare myself for that goal so 
that's how I do it y'all I don't know I just keep a lot of notebooks and I keep separate notebooks for different things because my brain can literally get all over the place when everything is in one notebook I used to do that and then I was realizing like why do I have so many random pages like I need notebooks for each thing that is what it's meant for okay for instance these are two of my notebooks if you guys watch my vlog one of my vlogs I was I purchased these books these notebooks uh last well this month actually and this notebook is my business notebook I keep all of my like business um as far as like my website y'all know I do graphic design I design websites flyers banners YouTube intros and I also sell ebooks so all my branding will be in this like literally um uh, so like I said I keep all my notes in here things anything of that sort I keep in here like goals and stuff like that and then this journal right here is like my social media content creating journal um and basically I have all my goals for all my social media platforms what I'm going to post for the month so basically I basically go ahead and I put the month so this is the month that I did this month um and it has my march content planning and it has my beginning count of my youtube instagram and tiktok and on the last day of this month i will put my end count basically so i can see where the growth is we're gonna do this together in a minute but i really just wanted to show y'all how i stay organized because a lot of people always ask me and then i have kids on top of that and i'm I, actually i feel like i want to get another journal probably when we go out shopping one of these days in this vlog i'll probably get another journal for my mom mommy life for my mom for my mommy life so basically appointments stuff like that also do have a mommy planner so if you are a mom out there you want to use a digital planner and you want to digitally plan out your stuff sometimes i do that on my computer um i have a digital product ebook or whatever you want to call it not even an ebook it's a digital product where you can either print it out or you can use it download it and it's basically a mommy planner you keep track of your kids appointments grocery lists your mental health things you have to do for the week the month and everything like that and that is all on my website in the description box below so get you one if you want to stay organized as a mom and you don't want to do what i do but you do want to have like something that's convenient and it's all written out for you go get you one on my website i'm actually going to do the calendar real quick with y'all um i'm trying to do this before i have to go get layla off the bus which is here real soon um and then i'm actually probably gonna place me a little order um, I don't know from where though because I am hungry I haven't ate anything all day and I need to stop doing that I have a habit of not eating I don't know what that is or what that's all about but I would literally feed the kids breakfast and I'm gonna feed them all and about time it's like time to get Layla off the bus I'm just like hungry and that's like two o'clock so I haven't really ate anything probably about I probably drunk a juice and drunk some water and then I really just eat eat around dinner time so I gotta stop doing that but I have a habit of like just snacking but I think that just comes with me breastfeeding because I would snack like on protein bars all day and I'd be cool until it's time to eat eat now I need my meal you know I'm gonna go ahead and clear off the month of March because honestly the only thing that's on here that I may um well it's just two more days so the only thing that's on here is Harlem's doctor's appointment tomorrow which I may take out with me um she has a doctor's appointment tomorrow and she has to get shots so I'm really hurt for my baby and then um Saturday I actually have an interview which I'm gonna get dressed with y'all show y'all me getting ready for my interview my life update video y'all know I had my first part interview they emailed me now they want to do a second part so that's amazing it's always great for them to know hey come back we want you you know I'm gonna clear all this off I'll probably get some alcohol to wipe it off because every time I wipe it with a baby wipe it get all I don't know so let's get to the I see the look on your face I see you hiding in me. I see you looking for someone to scoop you right off your feet. You want to ride in a race. You want to go out on dates. You want somebody to come bring your flowers. Someone that talks for hours. Wash your bed while you sit in the shower. Someone to tell you you're beautiful. Someone to tell you and mean it. Someone to tell you I love you every day and don't got a reason. You want someone to bring you peace. Someone to help you sleep. Yeah. Someone to pick you up when you're feeling down.
was able to finish my monthly calendar when i do do my monthly calendars it's a bit different because i can't really plan out i plan out as i go but i do put the important dates like appointments birthdays things that i know that it's going to come up um i always put my youtube check um i'm supposed to get paid on the 21st but because it falls on a sunday we only get paid through weekdays so I put my YouTube check. I get paid on the 22nd. I told myself I'm going to be apartment shopping. Um, I have to sell my car on the 27th. If I don't get anybody else to do it, I have somebody on the 27th that's trying to buy it. Um, Drew's birthday is April 5th. Okay, he's an Aries. And down here, I always put like my goals and stuff down here. So um have a few goals on the list or whatever. I have like a sponsor that needs to get out. If I need to post a video, I'll make sure had this video posted this day get this sponsor out this day you know stuff like that so that's how i do it throughout the month it looks blank right now but this is going to be filled up soon as i start soon as the month come in it's going to start filling up this is my calendar i'm going to actually go ahead and get layla off the bus real quick and then i'll come back to y'all when it's time for me to do my other goals and stuff like that and my notebooks um but i'm, I'm about to get Layla off the bus my monthly reset as far as on my calendar because this is my main source this is what i look up this is what i look at when i wake up you want to have a calendar as soon as you wake up and it's right by my door and i can't miss it so this is why i have this big old thing because it is so convenient i i recommend this to everybody uh, those little planners be cool and all but let's be honest how many times will we open that planner when it's dead spot in your face you're more likely to actually look at it and use it. But yeah, yeah I'm gonna go get Layla off the bus and I'll be right back. I can't see how you could bring me to so many tears after all these years. See my days are cool without you. Hey, Barbie girl. Hey, no, no, no. Two shots is wild. Well, at least she get one in the mouth, but she's gonna be real sleepy today. She got two shots, my baby. You are your mama's twin. She just got a shot. I know, but. Look at it. Hey y'all, so as y'all seen, I was just at Target and I went to Harlem's Doctors. I went to Harlem's doctor's appointment. Basically, she got her shots, as y'all saw. And then I also got a few things from Target. It is actually the next day from when y'all last seen me when I was doing the calendar and stuff. And I forgot to show y'all, like, um, me setting my goals for basically the month um, of April for my content and stuff like that. So I'm probably going to do that either today or tomorrow. I do have a to-do list today that I want to get done. I do have to get some things done before Saturday because I don't like doing certain things. Like I don't like doing laundry on Saturday. Saturday is really like me day. Like I want to do something for me. There's just some things that I want to get done with y'all, but I do want to kind of show y'all everything that I got from Target because some of this stuff is like relevant to this video. So as I mentioned, this is really just like a reset. So I know I needed new towels. Um, am I the only one that goes through goes through towels like 
my house goes through towels. I don't know if it's because I just got kids or what, but I just got three different towels. I got a gray towel, I got a pink one, and this is by the Target brand. So yeah, I got a pink one. I got this turquoise one. So I'm gonna put this in the laundry because there's just some things that you have to wash when you bring it home, no matter if it's brand new or not. I just feel like so many people touch these towels and this is gonna be on your body. Wash your towels as soon as they come from the um, freaking store because that is nasty if you don't. Um, but to each his own. I'm not going to judge you. But, you know, I got three towels. I am going to put them in a load when I do my laundry. When I show you how me do my laundry. Then I have this bag. I got a few things. If you guys ever seen me, my plates? I got some plates like this in my previous vlogs. But I didn't know they had bowls. So these are super duper cute and I can't wait to use these because I can put my yogurt parfaits in here. Um, I can do cereal in here and I love that they're stackable. The plates are stackable as well. So um, definitely love these. These were only $3, which I think were cute. These are plastic. Um, they did have a glass, but I'm a, more, I'm a mom of four kids. Who's going to be putting glass everywhere? I don't know. I just feel like glass is only convenient when special occasions are happening. I got these two little cute bows. I thought they were really cute. Some plates. These were only 50 cents. I got three of them because um, y'all know I usually put their food like on those divided trays. Um, those are cool and convenient when like I'm doing like a real big meal. But I feel like sometimes it's just it's too big for them. Um, I don't even know how to explain it, but I have so many of those. They don't have their own little individual plates. And I can honestly use this plate for me as well because they're just regular plates. But they were 50 cents each. I just got three of them. I got this journal. And it just says church notes. And my prayer journal and my prayer and my prayer journal that I got um, that I showed you guys before it's cool and all but i just feel like it's not convenient for what i want it for like it's more of a prayer journal than it is like um a reflection journal like i can't reflect on what i'm listening to as far as a sermon um i can't reflect on like what i gained from the day it's more so of a prayer so i didn't know that they just had this at target which is super crazy and it just says church notes and basically it's set up by um i'll show you at first glance or whatever but it's set up by um the topic who is the pastor the speaker um is it the new or old testament it talks about your mood um what are you grateful for the scripture and the verse and I, my favorite part about it is you're able you're able to like reflect on what the sermon was about my prayer journal is basically like it says a prayer journal. I like this because it's specifically for um, what I learned for the month. Not the month, what I learned from the sermon. What I learned out of the sermon. Y'all, Kaden just been on one, y'all. But um, yeah, I actually, actually like this. It is blue. I'm not too much of a fan of the color. It's cool, but. I just want to use it for what it's meant for. So I got this. So I'm actually going to use this today because today on the to-do list, let me go to my notes because one thing about it is how I stay organized, I get my notes started, right? Friday, I told myself I need to go to Harlem's doctor's appointment. I already did that. Um, I needed to work out for 30 minutes. Haven't done that yet. I need to do laundry, make lemon water drinks, and I need two Bible studies. So I'm going to do all of that today. Um, and then yesterday I was supposed to plan on this calendar. I already did that. And then I was supposed to tell you guys the goals in my journal. So I'm gonna make sure I do that, include that into today. So Friday, Bible study, make lemon water drinks, do laundry, work out for 30 minutes. And I already went to Harlem's doctor's appointment so I can check that off. So right now we're finna Bible study and I'm going to use this. Um, and because I've been watching Sarah Jakes, um, a lot of her sermons have been recommended on my page. Just click one that I feel like God is drawing me to. And that's what I usually do, like listen to or whatever. So yeah, y'all, um, I'm going to go ahead and gather myself together, get things in order. And then we're going to be right back to Bible study. In Target with it. And a surprise. Oh, no. 
Please, that creepy thing. No, it's like one I got you. No, that's creepy. They got Bluey. Oh, toodles. Is Bluey a girl or boy? Somebody said, no, somebody said Blue is a girl. Oh, look at this baby Ooh. alive. Look at these. They make them all cute now. This is overly grown. Who is that for, Alexis? You? Oh, I told you I wanted a Barbie Dream House. I never got it. Being 17, I can just imagine you in your room at 17 years old. Oh, I actually play with that. 17 years old, play. Ooh, okay, slicked up, baby hairs. Anyways, I'm at Target to get like some self-care stuff because I want to take a, like, a little self-care bath tonight or whatever. To so get a few things for that. What I wanted to look at, see this is all I really need. It's a nice good dumbbell. This is only $20. Like, they got all the, these are cute though. I like these better. Dang, that's heavy. Like these are cute. Cheaper, that's 12 pounds. This is 10 pounds. I need some weights. What's these? Oh, these goes on your, these go on your um, thing. Oh, I need this for my hips. I'm getting this. Can you hold that? Thank you. Is this 10 pound? 10 pound only 20. Is it worth it, you think? I got a set, I got a set, but it's adjustable. They like go to 20 pounds each. 20 or 25. This. You, you got, got the mats. Jump rope. What's this? Please. This is what I needed though. These right here to shake up my protein shakes. The little ball that shakes up. All right, y'all. So I just made it back home. I know, I know, I know. This vlog is so all over the place. Like, I actually feel kind of bad because this vlog really should be like get my life together because I'm all over the place. I told you I was gonna do Bible study, then do Bible study. I told, like, I literally have been having the craziest day today. Y'all would not even understand. Really, <laughs> I'm not even gonna even explain everything. I'm just not. I'm just gonna say that my life has been all over the place where it led me to basically show y'all me at target at the end of the night so tomorrow we're gonna start a new day fresh on a clean slate and we're gonna do it the right way so everything i'm supposed to do today i'm gonna make sure i do it tomorrow so i'm gonna ensure that i do my bible study right before i get ready to get ready for my interview then i'm gonna do the rest of my laundry because i need to do laundry i'm gonna also um what else was I saying? Everything on my list, I'm gonna do that. Right now I'm cooking because I'm hungry. Um, I'm gonna finish cooking, eat these nachos. I'm really gonna catch y'all tomorrow. I am so sorry y'all. Like this vlog, I hate making my vlogs like this because I feel like they're not interesting, but y'all love seeing everything anyways, but I just feel like they're less interesting when it's all chaotic, so and all over the place. Because I tell y'all I'm gonna do something and I don't even do it. But Please believe tomorrow morning is going to go way different. So I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow morning. I'm so sorry about today. Today was just a crazy day. But tomorrow morning will be a better morning and it's going to flow better. Right now I'm cooking. So I'll be back here. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all when I'm done and then we're going to call it a night. Yeah. 
psychological standpoint and we look at it from the mechanical standpoint, what we have is that a trigger actuates the function of my past experience into my present. Defensive and nobody really said anything that bad to you. It's just that it actuated the function of that. That's why you start talking crazy. That's why you shut down. That's why you get angry. And I get stuck. Good morning, y'all. So, as y'all seen, I just did my Bible study in the morning, 8.54 right now, and I'm about to be 9 o'clock. I actually have my interview today at 10.30, but I'm going to head out around 10. So, I'm about to go ahead and get in the shower and everything because I want to get this out the way. I want to be all freshened up and everything. So, I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to do my hair and my makeup. I have to go in my closet and find something. I still have my black slacks that I'm probably going to wear. But I just need to get like a dressy top, which I have a few in my closet because I don't know, like, <clears throat> I would say ever since I've been getting into my word of God, it is so true. When you and your word, you start dressing differently. You don't dress all, uh, is it provocative? Provocative? Y'all know the word. Like dressing all like half dressed. Don't get me wrong. I will wear a crop top um, here and there, but... You probably won't catch me in no booty shorts, no little itty bitty shorts, unless I'm in the house. Like, I feel like if I'm in the house, that's different. Like, I'm trying to be comfortable. But, like, out in public and stuff, like, I've been dressing more wholesome and more covered up. And it's like, I never thought that was, like, a thing. But sometimes, it's not even that God is convicting my spirit. But when you move into the direction of God, you start to think like God, like, covering up more now don't get me wrong i may wear a little a small dress but it would never be right under my butt i feel like now now back then maybe i would have <laughs> but i'm still learning y'all i'm still learning so don't ever feel like what i'm preaching out not even just preaching what i'm telling y'all from what i'm learning and stuff like that i'm trying to control your life and i'm not living it my thing is I'm still learning as well, so I cannot be like, don't do this, don't do that, and I'm still doing the same things. I'm just giving you the message and the message that I'm going to take in for myself and learn, and you got to break habits. You can't break a habit the next day. It's just not possible. It's 9 o'clock. I'm going to get myself freshened up, get in the shower, brush my teeth, do my hair, do my makeup, and I'll probably be back once I'm all done because I know I told y'all I was going to do my makeup with y'all, but I get so overstimulated when I know I have to record and it's crunch time. Like it's nine o'clock. I have an hour to get ready. So like I get overstimulated and it takes longer when you're trying to get ready, get the angles. Y'all yeah, know. So I'll be back once the girls is. So I got my outfit on. I really don't too much care for my hair, but it's okay. Um, This is my little outfit. The slacks. You really can't tell, but I feel like I look really cute. Like, it's definitely giving the girls business attire. Okay, maybe you can see right here. Definitely is giving business attire. I look washed out like so bad. However, I'm about to go. It's 10 o'clock, so I need to go to my interview and wish me luck. Hey y'all, so I am officially back or whatever and my makeup is like all over the place, honey. Whatever. It is currently 12 .02. It's currently 12.02 right now. And I'm actually back home with just baby Harlem. Kaden is actually with his grandmas. And right now I'm about to look my lace lifting. Um, wait, hold on. Let me let me come on here what I try to come on here for. And that was just to tell y'all about the interview. The interview actually went really good. Um, she did say due to my availability, she won't give me a decision that day. Um, she wanted to go through with the interview first just because um, <clears throat> she basically wants to make sure she's doing the right decision. Um, you know, so she didn't give me the decision right then and there. But I, 
nine times out of ten i probably got the job um it's just my availability is such on crunch time and i am looking for something part-time i don't want to work full-time only being because i have y'all like that i want i don't want that job to be my main source of income i really don't like i want it to be an extra oomph you know so it went really good i will say the interview was like kind of intimidating only because i didn't know what i was getting myself into and then once we finally did the interview like it was a sit down person and then she walks you around like the department you know stuff like that where you're gonna be at and she basically have to do like a little role play into it like act like you're you know she's the customer and you're like the person and it's like kind of awkward but when you have a lot of retail experience it's nothing it's just it was i was thrown off guard um because you never know what to expect with these interviews and i mean it is expected because it is a high-end store and um they go off oh something's in my eye yeah but anyways it was expect it was as suspected because it is a high-end store they want to make sure they can have people that can be in uncomfortable situations and stuff like that so it was a breeze and then with my retail experience it's really nothing but yeah y'all she said she'll give me a decision within the next week so i'll give y'all an update about that probably here coming up soon and i just said to myself if it's not meant for me to get it god don't let me get the job because god knows where i'm supposed to be so if that's not the job for me then that means i won't get it and that's fine that's how i'm starting to take my losses now and they're not even really losses that's how i'm going to start taking my you know my expectations that you know i don't even know what to call it expectations losses what is it um that's how i'm going to start handling things let's say that if it's not meant to be, it was not in God's plan for me to be. That's not where I'm supposed to be. And obviously where I'm headed towards is going to be a bigger blessing than what I thought that was going to be. So I get it. I get it. I don't. I don't. I'm not stressing it. Um, but yeah, y'all, that was how the interview went. I'm actually about to wind. I'm about to take this lip gloss off because this lip gloss is kind of bothering me because it's all over everywhere. And I'm not liking the combo. I'm not. What I'm about to do is straighten up. I'm going to do laundry and... Um, I'm going to try to put Harlem down for a second because I did actually end up getting some things. Yesterday I wasn't able to show y'all because I was so tired. Literally, I cooked my food. I don't even think I showed y'all my nachos. I literally went to sleep last night. So what I did was I got some like workout stuff. So let me show y'all. Here I got me a dumbbell. It was $20. It's actually a 10-pound dumbbell. I really only need one because I seen on... um. I seen on TikTok or whatever, no, not TikTok, I seen on Instagram, this girl was like, all you really need is a heavy dumbbell. This is 10 pounds. This is heavy to me. I can go up, but these dumbbells are not cheap. This was $20 for a 10 pound. So y'all do the math. Um, and then she said one of these, these resistant bands. So it has three of them. It has light resistant, medium, and heavy. So um, I got these and she said literally all you need is those two to really work out and you don't even need the gym. However, I am going to be getting me a gym membership. So at Planet Fitness, that way I can still get my gym workout too. Because I feel like the gym is beneficial in some ways. There's just some things I'm not comfortable with doing yet because I am a rookie. Like literally I am a rookie learning. But this weight would, ooh, this weight would do me just fine and these resistant bands. But if I don't have time to go to the gym, I can just rely on my weights at home and my resistant bands. And that's how I'm going to work out because I don't want to skip out on this. Also, let me also show you this. In my calendar, I added some more to some more stuff to it because like I want to be more efficient in the month of April. So on my calendar, I actually ended up putting more stuff so i actually in green have all my workouts so leg day core day glutes full body um core day glutes you know so i know exactly because in the month of april I'm so tired of not sticking to my plan like i think i have a habit of just not being strict with it because i can't visually see it when i don't visually see something i will forget about it and it will cross my mind and then i'll be like dang i should have did that
as y'all seen, I just did my workout and baby. That workout was working out. I did actually a video workout. Um, so I followed everything she did. I did everything except for two things. I substituted for something that I can do because I don't have two dumbbells. But as y'all seen, I had this on because I don't have a waist trainer yet. And this is the old school method that a lot of people used to do. And I'm gonna take this off because it is so tight. Like I wasn't thinking to this. And it's so sweaty. I'll be right back. Let me cut this. Okay, yeah. So I was able to cut off this on my stomach. Look at my tummy. So, yeah, y'all. So basically, um, I'm about to go ahead and pamper myself. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm probably going to pump before I get in the tub. But I do want to do like a little bath, soak in. Um, do I want to do that now? Hold on. Somebody call me. Okay, y'all, so I don't know how I literally forgot I was recording. I literally sat here for, after I got off the phone because my kid's dad was calling me. After I got off the phone, I just sat here literally for a good 30 minutes. And then I was like, wait, I was recording. <laughs> but what I was saying is, I don't know if I want to take my bath like right now or if I should do it at nighttime. I think nighttime will be more of a vibe and then I can settle in so i don't think i want to do it right now but let me look on my to-do list of what was supposed to get done today so i did laundry or i'm currently still doing it but whatever and i did my workout oh we could look 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 that was all supposed to be done yesterday um <clears throat> i did my interview um let's see i just haven't i still haven't told you guys my goals for my content um, but I'm just going to leave that alone only because like, I don't really want to share too much of my goals only because like, like I said, you just never know who's praying on your downfall. So I'm going to just leave that alone, but I'm supposed to be making lemon water drinks with y'all. So hopefully tonight, I don't know. I got to ask my mama cause she's doing her hair. Hopefully tonight we can go to like the farmer's market to get like some um, produce or whatever or fruits and vegetables in other words so that way I can do some more like healthy things and kind of like meal prep in a sense but not really because this is not y'all know I do a whole series for that I'm, I'm pushing it I'm really am I'm pushing it and I'm just be working out yeah I just got done working out and I'm over here to my mukbang I'm gonna catch y'all whenever I do next I don't know what I'm doing next so I'll catch y'all then okay hey y'all so as y'all seen i just came from trader joe's or whatever and before i take my little pampering spa night whatever y'all want to call it because it is 10 o'clock on the diet i'm in my job top before I do that, I kind of want to show y'all what I got from Trader Joe's and then we're going to end it off with my pamper and I'm pampering the bath or whatever. This is my little fit that I went to Trader Joe's in. I literally went like right before 30 minutes before it closed. So I wasn't able to grab everything, but I did buy some things that's like unique and different. So and also y'all, I am doing laundry. So in case y'all hear that, I'm doing laundry, okay? This is heavy, hold on. All right, I'm gonna just pull and go. So the first thing I got is some bananas. All y'all, y'all all know, y'all shouldn't have bought now. 
I'm gonna always get bananas because my kids love bananas. I got this juice. So this is Trader Joe's, the power of seven green organic juice beverage. It has green apple, ginger, celery, spinach, kale, lemon, and cucumber. And this is what it looks like or whatever. And I'm gonna drink this because this is gonna help me detox because I be getting bloated from drinking pop and in April this is why this is a monthly reset but in April I'm not gonna drink any soda I'm not gonna do any of that so I'm gonna use this to detox and hopefully this is good because I'll go get some more of them but I thought this was perfect because instead of just like making my own it has all the greens everything you need to congest of in here um, and it also has like lemons and ginger which is great for like your immune system so I got this y'all know I'm trying to be on my protein so I've been getting protein bars not only for just my working out but also for my milk for my breast milk or whatever so this right here this is a chocolate chip chewy coated granola bars and guess how many how much protein it's got this got one bar is 35 grams this is way more way this is much more protein in my other than my other ones that I get from Myers and stuff. This one has 35 grams of protein. I got this and hopefully they're good because usually it's 12 grams of sugar. I need to watch my sugar too because I've been eating a lot of sweet stuff, okay? But it's still a lot of protein, so that's all that matters. Some bread. This is just some, um, girl, I don't know just some whole wheat bread I'm assuming but I just got some bread because I like to make avocado <gasps> no I got avocados I thought I forgot it but I think I got it but I got my toast and I like to make avocado toast or whatever I got me some tomatoes for <laughs> for my um, tacos and stuff I'll be making but I'm gonna have to switch up some ingredients I'm gonna try to use ground turkey instead of ground beef because I'm trying to cut out red meat or whatever so We'll see how that go. I'm gonna try to buy some ground turkey and see how that turn out. Got some lemons for my lemon water that I'm supposed to be making tonight, but didn't even get a chance to. I'm gonna just show y'all in my episode three for my fitness um, journey video because I keep saying I'm gonna make this and I don't ever get around to it. But I got some lemons. I got my avocados for my avocado toast. I couldn't find corn tortillas, which I was mad about. But I got some mini flour tortillas, but I like corn tortillas. They just taste better. And I'm gonna tell y'all why I got the corn tortilla, well, the flour tortillas to begin with. So I got another bag. Here I just have my peppers. So I have my red, um, orange, and yellow peppers. I got my strawberries or whatever. And I actually, there's this girl I watch on YouTube and her um, name is, da is her name Diamond? I think her name diamond i'm not sure but she be getting these beef burial stuff and the way she be making them be looking so good like and then you can soak the tortillas in the juice that like i'm gonna make this one day and it's supposed to be good she be craving craving this all the time and she be like this is so good this is so good so i'm gonna just try and find it i'm gonna finally try it out because i finally got my hands on it so we're gonna try this out um, one of these days. Last but not least, I got this and I didn't know they had like stuff that was already like submerged and like like marinated or whatever. So I got some sun-dried tomato and basil chicken tenders that's already marinated. And it was only $11. So hopefully it's good because that means I ain't gotta season it. I can just cook it and it's already, you know, it's already it's already made you feel me so that's all i got I ended up spending 55 dollars on girl barely nothing at this point like now that i'm looking at it ain't too much of nothing but yeah y'all that's what i got from trader joe's i just wanted to show y'all real quick and i'm about to get in this bath to end up this vlog because i am tired child so yeah that's all i got or whatever then we a little grocery shopping and got stuff for next month because i'm definitely gonna be drinking my little juice with the greens in it or whatever but i'm gonna put all this stuff up and then we're gonna take our little spa bath
find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart.